anything, man. I, I ain't posted on YouTube. I haven't put a video up on YouTube, man. You want to know why I'm MIA? I'm going to tell you why. Because I don't want to milk any freaking videos right now and talk about AMC when I am losing so much money. Uh, I could do some depressing videos, but I don't want to kill morale. I think uh, the market's already doing that. Anyway, I'm down here in my recording studio, my jam studio, where a lot of my bands have rehearsed back in the day. Uh, you guys have asked to see more and more of my house, so this is one of the coolest rooms in my house. Uh, there's my drum set, my rig. That's half of my rig. I've got the other half out in the garage because I don't really need it for anything. Um, I'm always buying new boutique amps and trying them out, so that's what those two are on the floor. Um, my really expensive guitars right there. Oh yeah, check these out. Dude, this, this is some cool shit for you Van Halen fans. So um, this is the actual Boogie Body Charvel guitar Eddie Van Halen purchased back in 1970 something. I'm not sure the exact date, but that's the Boogie Body that he got from Wayne Charvel. This is also a Boogie Body from Wayne Charvel from back in the 70s. So, and it is pimped precisely to Eddie's paint with the original 1982 Floyd Rose. Those are really hard to get. 82, 83 ish. Serial numbers are off on those. Uh, anyway, that's just, a lot of people see this Kramer, they don't understand. And, you know, Eddie was putting Kramer next on these guitars back in 1984. That's a Charvel, though. That's a boogie body. That's a Charvel guitar that he pulled out of a box, B stock. It had like, I don't know, had knots in the wood or some shit, so they weren't selling them for a lot of money. Eddie was like, give me one of those. I don't give a shit. Anyway, uh, that's what's up, y'all. This is where we uh, do a lot of recording still. Uh, my piano's over here. Yeah, somebody tell Ape Father I'm coming for him with the piano. I don't even think he knows I play piano. Uh, yeah. Piano's right next to Bernie the Lobster. Um, hey, y'all better tell Ape Father, dude. I got it. We do it all down here. Anyway, let me go ahead and have a seat and talk to you guys. You want to know why we need to talk? Hopefully you motherfuckers been hitting the gym. Y'all been hitting the gym or you slacking? Makes you feel good, you know? Let those endorphins fucking hit. <clears throat> Pissed off, you go to the gym like I do. All right? Pissed off, you're losing money in the market, go to the gym like I do. Anyway, or fuck it, you should just go to the gym to take care of yourself like I do. You want to look good, right? All right. It's not going to happen on its own. Shit doesn't just happen. You want to know what happens? You unravel and you start to get fat. You lose muscle mass. You have to go to the gym to keep your body from unraveling. Let's just put it that way. So anyway, here's what's up. That's the wife's style house, by the way. See the big... <laughs> she built that fucking thing, man. I know. Right in the middle of the man cave with all those cool guitars, I got a dollhouse. But it's kind of eerie, man. We're, we're haunting the dollhouse. We're doing like Halloween shit in there to make it like real spooky and shit. She's working on that. Anyway. So tomorrow I buy AMC. Tomorrow. I told you guys I would do a video and let you all know when I'm ready to buy back into AMC. I am ready to buy back and I'm kind of excited about it because we're in a bear market. But you guys are hearing all the chirping, right? A lot of buzz going around. A lot of people are expecting a rally in this bear market. It's called a bear, bear market rally. And let me tell you guys something. When enough people start talking, the shit starts happening. The buzz is going around so hot right now. The buzz alone could be the spark that ignites the fire. So, my ass is buying 5,000 shares of AMC, I think. Uh, let me just put it this way. Anywhere from two to 5,000 shares of AMC. And the, the reason I say that is because there's a couple awesome buys on my balling right now. Okay, uh, cost averaging down on Tesla, $630. So I might go in on some Tesla tomorrow morning if it collapses a little more, which will take away from the money that I decide to put on AMC. Either way, tomorrow I'm buying AMC and we'll do a post and, and I'll show you guys what I end up getting on that side. Uh, will it collapse into $9.60, 70 80 or even $0.30? Cents? Very likely it will. But do I give a shit? No, I don't care. We trade the middle, doesn't matter. Here's what matters, though. 
let's say this bear market rally actually happens, okay, and you're able to buy it $10, okay? What are you guys going to do? Let me ask all of you right now. What the fuck do you plan on doing if it goes back to $60, $70 a share? I mean, right now you got 160 million shares on loan, one false move, and that shit goes in the wrong direction, which is up, right direction for us, wrong direction for them. With this horrendous fucking market right now, what do you guys really think is going to happen? Every one of them bitches are going to get margin called. That's what's going to happen. Nobody's, no market maker's going to risk shit right now. No hedge fund's going to risk shit right now. They are risking. See what I'm saying? They thought more apes or more retail was going to uh, walk from this play. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm even shocked that more retail hasn't walked away from this play. This is the only time I'm going to pat you guys on the back. Because this is fucking amazing that y'all have held this damn thing at $10. I know a lot are walking. But the vast majority of retail on AMC has not fucking left, all right? So I don't ever pat retail on the back because I think that's just a crock of shit. But this is the best holding stock I've seen in this fucking market. And everything else is getting destroyed, crushed. Yet AMC continues to hold in small percentages down. Of course, today I think it was crushed 10% or something, um, which I get that. It's You know what I'm saying? It's not immune to this bullshit, I'm just saying, there's less retail walking from this than there is fucking Tesla. Tesla's fucking destroyed. Anyway, um, so tomorrow that's the plan, guys. And the reason that's the plan is because I see an actual squeeze coming. That squeeze could happen within the next three weeks. When that squeeze happens, I plan on selling. I'm not holding for no mo, mo ass. My ass Ain't holding for a Moas. And I hope the gods y'all aren't playing into that bullshit. You want to know what the Moas is now? The mother of all short squeezes? It's going to be 70 bucks. Just to let y'all know. Hold to $70. I know a lot of you guys are like 7700 and all this shit. Guys, you want to know why? It's going to be bullshit. It's going to be fake. Here's what. These bear market rallies are fake. This is what happens. All stocks are going to run for two, three, four days. And then they're going to sell back off lower than they are right now. AMC is going to be shorted lower than what it is right now. Meaning AMC run, rips to 70 and then she's going to get shorted all the way down to eight fucking dollars. Swear to God, that's the way I see it. That's why she rips. I don't even know if I'm going to have the balls to hold the fucking 70. My, you know what I'm saying? My brain's going to be like, we can do the 70. Because of the FOMO and the amount of shares on loan, but am I am I going to be that brave to hold to seventy? You know, when she hits fifty, I just five x to my money. That's huge right now in this market. Who's five x in their money in this market right now? Nobody, fucking nobody. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. So tomorrow I'm going to do another vo uh, video. I'm going to go at you know a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Who knows how many shares I'm I'm going to alert you guys though to the number that I end up getting. And we're going to play this bitch, and I'm going to be really excited if within the next three weeks we can cash this thing out and recoup some money that I've lost, okay? So that's that's my update. Welcome to the studio. Um, nothing else has changed, really, you know? Jim's doing good. It's doing as good as it possibly can in this horrendous market. Um, I'm keeping my head up, even though, hey, man, we're all down a shit ton of money. I don't, I, I don't know about y'all. I'm down a shit ton of money. I know you guys are down money. Um, but at the end of the day, it always does recoup. And I, you know, I try not to get blinded by the sinking ship. Like I, sometimes I do. And I think you guys do too. You see it sinking so low. You're like, oh, you know, I've been like this. Oh my God, it's the end. It's done. Look at Tesla. And then I remind myself, holy shit, it's done this before. And Tesla shot to over a thousand dollars in three weeks. It's done this before. And Tesla has doubled in three under three weeks so you know you just gotta hey history repeats itself and it's doing it right now so anyway that's it guys i'm gonna do a video tomorrow I'll let y'all know uh the gangbuster uh amount of shares i end up with and it's back on with the short squeeze amc for me so hopefully you guys are all still in i hope you guys are man because finally something's about to happen i truly believe something is about to happen with amc that's it. That's my update, guys. It's late. Time to get to bed with the wife and relax. 
Y'all have an awesome evening. See you tomorrow. Dojo Warrior out, baby. Shaboom!